All right, this is our Motorola Edge X30, the first smartphone powered by Snapdragon 8 Gen 1. Aggressive pricing and marketing materials made this smartphone a hotcake in Chinese market. Let's do the unboxing and then we will do some testing to define its quality. After opening the box, that's our Motorola Edge X30. Underneath the phone, there is a protective case, a quick guide and warranty papers. There is a SIM ejector tool included inside the box. This is a super cheap TPU silicon protective case. I am disappointed, but considering the price, we cannot expect too much. They have included a USB-C to USB-C charging cable. For the price, this is a very good quality one. This 68W charging brick is also a good quality one. I wouldn't say it's a premium quality charger. Let's see how it performs. Okay, let's unwrap this new beast Motorola Edge X30. I have bought this dark colored one because I like this dark vibe. This is neither black nor green and with those light reflections, even there is some type of blue tint. AG matte finish, I mean anti-glare matte finish at the back and in the center of the rear panel, there is this Motorola logo. I don't know why do they require to write the brand name. We know it's a Motorola smartphone, no need to imprint the name at the back. It's ugly to have letters at the back. The glass around the rear camera panel is a glossy one. Anyway, the rear design is cool, I like the vibe. Light glares and reflections, everything is cool. In hand, it feels good. Sturdy build quality and the edges are very smooth. I'm surprised, it feels comfy in hand. All the buttons are on the right side. I'm not happy with the placement of the buttons, it's way too high. Fingerprint sensor is integrated to the power button and look where it is. Funny indeed. I really don't know what Motorola people was thinking. Oh my god, it's so crazy. On top there is nothing but a noise cancellation microphone, at the bottom SIM card tray, USB-C port and a speaker grill. I need to mention, this one comes with stereo speaker setup and Dolby Atmos. On the left there is another physical button, you can select a dedicated task for this button like opening an application or turning on a QR code that you frequently use. Registering fingerprint isn't that easy, I'm not happy with this fingerprint sensor and unlocking with fingerprint is also not very smooth. The first problem is the placement of the fingerprint sensor and the second problem is it's not always that accurate. Rather, I would prefer that face unlock option. Yes, there is face unlock option available and that one works perfectly fine, very fast, very smooth. Now let's talk about the display panel. This is a 6.7 inch flat OLED panel, 1 billion colors, HDR 10 plus, 700 nits, everything is as usual but it's still a FHD plus 1080p panel. When will all the flagship smartphones start to come with QHD plus display panels? Anyway, this panel supports up to 144Hz refresh rate which actually drains battery faster than expected. Let's check this display panel side by side with Vivo X70 Pro Plus. I would say display quality is okay, nothing extraordinary. It's only an above average quality, ordinary 1080p panel. Now let's try the stereo speaker setup. I will try the same music on this Motorola Edge X30 and then on Vivo X70 Pro Plus. I think Vivo has wider frequency and crystal clear sound, but you listen carefully and you decide which one is better.
It's time to run onto the benchmark. Both the smartphones are fully charged. Temperature is also within the room ambient temperature bracket. Let's run onto the benchmark side by side on this Red Magic 6S Pro. This one got Snapdragon 888 Plus. And on this Motorola Edge X30, this one comes with Snapdragon 8 Gen 1. I personally don't believe in onto the scores because most of the time it has no relation to real life gaming performance. I have done a separate video where I have shown what type of thermal throttling this Motorola Edge X30 has. So you should check that video cause this Motorola Edge X30 actually have this thermal throttling issue. It's not only a simple issue, it's a big big issue now. Even if Motorola has claimed 1 million Antutu score, usually Motorola Edge X30 cannot go beyond 930,000. Red Magic 6S Pro has done extremely well it got more than 867,000. Both have generated similar type of heat, 11 degrees Celsius and 12 degrees Celsius. Let's run onto the benchmark one more time and check whether this X30 throttles or not. Well, after the second run, look at these scores, I'm speechless. Anyway, check my other video on Motorola Edge X30 to know more about its thermal throttling issues. Time for gaming? Yes, we can play games. I'm not a heavy gamer, but I did not enjoy playing games on this smartphone. I mean, I always use Red Magic 6S Pro as my gaming device. So after using that smartphone as a gaming device for a long time, I really didn't enjoy playing any type of game on this Motorola Edge X30. The real problem is if you play GPU intensive games for a long time, there is thermal throttling. Yeah, I know, we need to understand that this is a budget smartphone as this one comes with a very aggressive price tag. We cannot expect it to be a flawless smartphone. But gaming performance of this smartphone is not even close to flawless. It's far behind from its competition. Well, it's time to check camera performance. I actually have done a separate camera comparison video of this Motorola X30. I wish that you will check that video. This Motorola Edge X30 comes with a Omnivision OV50A main sensor. This is a 50 megapixel main sensor and there is another 50 megapixel sensor. That's Samsung ISOCELL S5K GM1. That sensor actually is tagged to ultra wide lens and there is a third 2 megapixel sensor. That's a depth sensor. If you have watched my other videos then you know camera performance of a smartphone is very important for me and I am truly disappointed. Anyway, you check these photos and you will get an idea of this smartphone's camera performance. Motorola Edge X30 comes with a very big 5000mAh battery and offers around 6 hours of screen on time when I select 144Hz refresh rate. But on a side note, if you use the camera application or if you play heavy games, then the battery will get drained faster and you won't even get 6 hours of screen on time. 
It takes around 48 minutes to get it fully charged, I mean from 0 to 100%. And if you select 60Hz refresh rate, then you will actually be able to squeeze around 8 hours of screen on time. Okay, it's time for verdict. If you are talking about gaming performance, then this one is not even as good as last generation Red Magic 6S Pro. Red Magic 6S Pro comes with Snapdragon 888 Plus and Motorola Edge X30 got this newest Snapdragon 8 Gen 1 but still Red Magic 6S Pro offers better gaming performance. Okay, if you are talking about camera performance, then we have to forget about any other flagship smartphones. Motorola Edge X30 cannot compete with any existing flagship smartphones and its camera is only comparable to mid-range smartphones. This one comes with Android 12 out of the box and the skin of Motorola Edge X30 is really very close to stock Android. I have been using Google Pixel 6 and Google Pixel 6 Pro for last one month and this Motorola Edge X30 UI is very close to those smartphones. Finally, as the price of this Motorola Edge X30 is cheaper than OnePlus 9 RT and as this one comes with the newest Snapdragon 8 Gen 1 processor, we have no problem to expect that Motorola will fix most of the issues that we are facing at this time with Motorola Edge X30 with updates. But till then, I really cannot recommend this smartphone to any of my subscribers or regular viewers because I think it's a waste of money. Overall performance of Motorola Edge X30 is worse than any other Snapdragon 888 Plus based smartphone. Well that's all, if you have liked this video then please don't forget to click on the like button and if you have loved this video then please don't forget to subscribe to this channel and stay tuned. Hey.